to um, you know, like meals with them. We need to you know, put in a justification statement. When we were assigned this project in class by Professor Ryan Weaver, um, it was a social problem research project. And basically what he wanted us to do was um, to figure out a problem in our, in our community, in our society, and to uh, try to figure out a, a way to resolve this problem. My expectations for the meeting for the first one was honestly just to get like introductions done, but the first meeting, I think we ended up meeting for like an hour just talking about like our experiences. Uh, I thought it was gonna be really difficult. I was really freaked out the first day when he assigned it. I don't know, I was just excited to see what we could decide to do with what we had in front of us. Um, with the assignment, I was a little nervous about working with groups and, you know, if you do the math, it was gonna be a large group. So I was just a little worried about how we would get things done. Um, at first I was a little, a little nervous because you never know how group projects in general are going to work out. So I would say yeah, I was just nervous when he first um, told us. You know, I was kind of just like looking around and I knew uh, some of them in the group from another group that I was in. So kind of just joined forces and made one big team. Um, I think originally some, I had joined two people. I don't know who originally was there. You weren't there, but... Antonio wasn't there. Yeah, I think Kevin was sitting there, and they said that you and Abby had like a great, I should, I should say, Antonio and Abby had a great idea. And um, I sat down, and they discussed it, and it just seemed like right away everybody like knew what was going on, and we all kind of played a role into it, and it already seemed that everybody was willing to participate, and it wasn't going to be a one-sided project. So I was pretty excited from the beginning. With all the groups that had started forming, this was the one that fit in with my major and my interests. And it was just something that yourself and Abby had felt really passionate about and I wanted to jump in and help any way I could. I, I, I just wanted, wanted, this, wanted to be a part of this group because I want to have an impact on other people's life. Um, like, may I say the less fortunate. Um, well, just kind of, I, I didn't know like what group to join, and then when I heard a couple people in the class talking about it, I'm like, well, that's something that I've been wanting to do anyway. It's something that, you know, I did um, have experience with, and it's also something that um, I wanted to do more of, so that's why I chose this group. I think the main thing, like, I think most of you would agree with this, and if you don't, like, definitely say something, is, like, I noticed that you know, walking down the street when a homeless person asks you for a dollar, a lot of people ignore them, say something extremely rude, or just like flat out say like, get a job. Like, Honestly, you shouldn't be homeless, get a job. Like, I mean, sometimes when they ask me for a dollar or something, I mean, they can only say. Honestly, I expected me to be like really like quiet and like nonchalant, but have a I have a good crop of like, group members, like, I really like love the group because I feel like a sense of cohesion when, it, when we're together. Every, everyone can talk, voice their opinion without any conflict. It's like, you know, a dollar is like nothing to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like you, like I remember I gave, I think one time I took a guy out to the house and bought him a slice of pizza. And he like went on this whole like God bless you like you have no idea I haven't eaten in three days like rant with me and like I just like was shocked. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Right, because we live in downtown Cleveland where there's the nine and there's the calves and all that kind of stuff. So we don't really. I think Cleveland kind of tunes it out a little bit, but I think it's like a really good problem. I thought that we had like a really good group and we just like uh, talked with each other really well and everything was smooth. That's another thing that someone could take. Someone could take researching the homeless shelters, you know, what options do they have? And like, do these homeless shelters even offer them anything? You know, do they offer, okay, so you're in a homeless shelter right now, like, let's get you a job. Like, let's get you clean clothes and something to eat. I don't even know if they do that. I think that, again, like, everything was super put together since day one. So, I mean, I was really excited about the whole project. Mm -hmm. I meant like three homeless uh, ladies who I kind of see like every day 
like right outside of uh, Langston, and they like sit in like you guys know Lemonberry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 they are like really nice people, and they, you know they like talk and you know when this one I was in there, you know they were just like asking me about um like, oh do you play like sports or basketball? Because I was talking to the lady, and they're like really nice people. And I saw them again. They said hello. So you know people like that I think like you know would be willing to take help. Um, completely extra. I don't. Oh yeah, that's what we were gonna do. Yeah. Definitely for the winter time, for sure. For the winter time, for sure. Coming up, it's gonna be something that we want to do. Maybe like um, the heat warmers, like the thing that, hand yeah, hand warmers. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That could be a way to maybe like talk to them and kind of bring them in, and not necessarily like um, you know focus on all of these people, but kind of help a bigger group, but you know get get more of their experiences. Like we're. Gonna- I thought like I I had like high expectations for our group, like meeting everybody and just hearing like how everybody was passionate and excited about it. I, I knew that we would do something really good, something good would come from it. So, just got out of a meeting with Ryan. Went turn, it was raw. And uh, we showed him our little flyer that we have. I don't know if you can really see it. But, uh, but yeah, so, showed him our flyer. He really okayed the whole process, and uh, we're gonna start putting up flyers around the campus um, in the community now, so fingers crossed, get the word out. I feel like a lot of people are homeless in the city of Cleveland. It's a growing problem. It's something you can even walk down the street if you're in the inner city, and you can see many homeless people, and you know, these people, they need like a way out. They need people to help them, you know. Um, you don't often, notice it yourself until you're immersed in it. It's not something that you think about. The things that you have to go, that normal people go without, just you don't think about in the same way until you're kind of forced to see it in that light that there are people that go without these things that we think about as just parts of our everyday lives. You know, it just, it's kind of heartbreaking for me. It, you know, I feel like when I encounter people that are not even just homeless, but disadvantaged. I feel like I want to do something for them or I want, you know, I I don't feel like it's equal or it's just that some people have nothing and some people have everything. So it just, I don't know, I guess my feelings about it is just, I I want to do more about it. little care package for me that I could at least still make on the table mm-hmm. and one of us could distribute information on their behalf if they'd like so that's yeah. an option too and I sent them a I sent them a flyer to hopefully hang on their premises or okay. pass on so cool. but I still have frontline and still trying to get habitat for humanity um, I have oh, really? Family Promise, which is kind of associated with Frontline, they're not coming because they don't technically like house people. They send people to Frontline and they like do other like assistance things, but they're passing it out to all the private shelters that they have to ask that they either want to attend or just to have those people from those shelters come. Um, I have, we're still, I think Lift Up Bites is going to come. They're kind of like not contacting us back, but they should be coming. And then I have some food from the store that we work at coming and that other group. Oh, the Northeastern Ohio Coalition for the Homeless is coming. So, okay. there's a lot of people. Didn't you have someone else community? You or, had um, City Mission or something. Um, the City, city mission. mission, there's definitely somebody... I gotta find it in my email. She just sent me the email telling me who's coming. But there's definitely somebody coming from City Mission. And then we have food, right? Yeah, my restaurant's doing the catering. We're getting two sheet pizzas and a giant vat of pasta. 
perfect. And then I have a huge thing of bottled water, and Coca Cola is donating some 12 packs. I'm just gonna go drive around in Cleveland with a buddy of mine and put up signs and just bus yeah. stops and RCA. We were gonna oh, yeah. Shelters on Sunday. Yeah, and we're, um, we're also probably going to do the. Um, What's it called? The um, the little paggy, the baggies oh, things. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when we, um, it might end up being over the weekend. So if you guys have a ch like, if we end up making them in there, um, we'll probably like reconvene at the student center and just like each of us will be like five or ten or so and just take them and we hand them out. On Monday all together if you guys have time. Yeah, either that or Sunday afternoon. Sunday maybe around 10 or 11. We could, want to do could. that, maybe get some things together Everyone's just to together. have there for yeah. the event. So if we have like things, clothes or whatever. Okay, so yeah, like, like I build the clothes so. all the time. So instead of like, I was going to take some this weekend so I can just bring them to yeah. the okay. yeah. Sure, and just yeah. something that people do. So here's how it's probably going to have to play out is we're going to have to have like stations. So I think that the people like Frontline and you know everybody will be okay on their own. Probably a few of us should be serving food because while we would love to feed people, you don't want to like have the same person coming back and coming back. And right. Unless buffet, we have yeah. enough food, then yeah. that's fine. Um, but we want to make sure we feed everybody. Um, I'm going to print out some little coloring pages in case people bring kids and I'm going to bring like crayons. So maybe one or two of us can hang out with the kids if their parent needs to talk to somebody. And then um, someone should probably be over by the clothes, making sure someone doesn't just pick up the bag and just walk out. Like, just make sure they're getting what they need, so that you don't. They sometimes it's just they take advantage and don't. But just see if they get what they need, and then a few of us can just be walking around talking to people. He's gonna be filming. <laughs> clothing over there since that's where people are going to be picking things up and then everyone else is going to set up over here yeah. and like they can walk around it's warm because I don't know if that day is supposed to be cold outside there's a restroom right upstairs so right. and downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a, a great spot yeah, for it yeah. students are going to be walking by so, so we, they'll see did you yeah. get any news for the word I leaked it I don't know if they're going to be here okay Right. Yeah, I think like the biggest thing that I'm just like, I think that we're gonna do great like with the setup and everything. My biggest thing is just like getting people here. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. We're gonna have people. Home. Home. Yeah. So. And even if like you guys want to, for the first 30 minutes, literally go like all the way up to Tower City and just tell people like, hey, if you wanna come with us, we have free food, we have clothes, we have all these different resources for you guys. Like we're students just trying to help. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think this weekend, like, I might just take even, like, more of those flyers out and just yeah. distribute them, like, all over. Yeah. One well, thing I think we should all wear, like, CSU gear, or, like, try to wear CSU gear. Oh, that'd yeah. be a good idea. Yeah. 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 So they kind know, like, people know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I dark green CSU, or yeah. something, Cleveland State on it. Mm -hmm. I was walking to Knights mm -hmm. today, and there was, like, like, I already saw two people, like, just sitting on the street with signs. Mm -hmm. and, there's a lot of people, and especially since it's getting cold outside. Yeah. People need resources. Yeah. So. It'll be good. I'm excited. Yeah. So we'll group chat on Sunday about meeting. Do you guys want to meet like here on that Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our central little base. <coughs> HQ. Yeah, and we can branch out. Okay, so this is Abby, and me and Antonio work at a store in our apartment building called Simply Food, and the manager, which we know really well, um, decided to let us take any items that weren't really selling well or just seemed like they could be donated things, simple things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go put some in a bag so we can take them tomorrow. All right, so we're driving to the Dollar Tree. It's November 19th. Our event is this coming Tuesday on the 22nd. Um, we're actually driving in the snow to 
the Dollar Tree to get some items for the little baggies that we're going to hand out tomorrow to advertise to get the people to come to our event. Um, all of our other team members are doing the same thing tonight. We're all going to bring some different stuff and put together some little baggies with um, an advertisement for our event. To our event. Oh, it was it was pretty fun to be honest. I'm like, just sitting around in the ground like little kids, you know, um, putting the like the packages together and stuff, cracking jokes with Don and Mackenzie and Brian and Ryan. It was pretty fun. <laughs> it was enjoyable. Like everybody was there and we all had, you know, brought in some things and I was surprised at the amount of things <laughs> that we all got. Um, it was, you know, it felt good to be doing something and I, I, this I was like, this is like the best, I've, out of all the group projects I've ever had, like you guys were the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited right now. We are um, taking these bags that we just made. This is actually upside <laughs> down. <laughs> and we're gonna go take them to some people we see on the streets that look like they need some extra goodies in their life. We just put all these kids together, we're about to go out, walk around downtown Cleveland, and you know, see what we find, help the homeless, give them out to people who need them. You know, it'll probably make someone's day for sure. Uh, this is our city, so someone's gotta take care of it. I'm trying to help out the city of Cleveland and just figure out what we can do to solve this problem. So, um, I was thinking we could take Euclid to Tower City and then maybe Superior back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. right. <laughs> We're walking. Get our steps in for today, um, as Ryan would say. It's rock and roll. Oh, got my hands tied around my back. Time for the rope around my head and Hung from the rafters of my fear Dark in the eyes, try to face the world I can't bear to, my knees hit the ground And my hands start shaking All feelings from new faces, a rope on the floor, and a poor man hanging. Please help me chop this tree down. And then 
actually going out and handing out the care packages, it, it felt good because some people were really grateful. And just some of the things that we had, like gloves and hand warmers and feminine products and things like that, some people just, they really needed that and they were grateful to get it. Need some gloves or maybe some soup today? Yes, please. Yeah, take, go ahead and take that. Thank away. you. Uh, yeah. on oh the my flight. God. Where you guys come from, Evan? Cleveland State. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cleveland State. Uh, we actually have a, we actually have a thing going on on Tuesday from 12 to 2 over at Cleveland State. You can come in and get um, food and there will other, be other resources there for you to use. So we'd love to see you there Tuesday from 12 to 2. Yeah, we can lock it. Thank you. Thank you. Right on Euclid 19th or 20th? Euclid and 21st. 21st. Thank you guys. I don't want to be, but. Stay warm. Thank you. I'm glad you can use it. I got one I'm not going to hug Duke. It's okay, man. It's okay, man. You're all good. <laughs> Try to stay warm. Be safe. I hope to see you on Tuesday, man. Uh, it was cold, but it was freaking awesome. Just like uh, going out and handing out like all the care packages and just getting to talk to like uh, people that nor on a normally like day-to-day -day basis like you wouldn't think to stop and say hey uh, just like hearing people's stories and seeing the, the gratification like on their faces when we were telling them about the thing that we were putting on for them it's really cool it was cold but you didn't really notice it like it was cold and we all were like complaining oh it's cold but like after it was all said and done I didn't feel like oh I've been you know walking the streets in the cold for hours it just felt like you know I spent time with, you know, some fun people, some nice people, and we actually did something positive for people that were in need. Personally, it was, it was like getting sentimental in a way and just putting myself in their shoes. Like, that could have been me sitting out there. Um. Oh. Hi, that was good. Um, there's about 150 women in there. So we didn't get everybody, um, but we got a lot of people. We got they made some copies of the flyers, which is really good. I think we'll get a lot of people to come. Oh, they're all a lot really. Of the ladies were really excited that we had, excited. you know, little things that they needed. Like the one lady was happy to have just the fuzzy socks. And so we uh, we got a lot of people. We had everybody in the group came. The herd kind of went down a little bit, but <laughs> we're just about done, and it started off a little rough. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it ended really good. Yeah, that ended and on, perfect. And like, on a positive note, for sure. Empty. All empty. Just the empty, first aid kit. <laughs> empty. Seen my bag. It started rough. It was we a little hard. We had 40 bags. We had zero. <laughs> yeah. So we were able to give them all out. Well, I don't know. I was just really shocked because I never really pictured the women's center to really be like that. I walked past it probably a hundred times, and I. It's such a small building. I pictured 30 or 40 women in there at a time on a busy day. And as soon as we walked in, a hundred women came up and just, we didn't have enough. And it kind of made me feel bad, but it also made me feel good that we're actually doing this. Cause a lot of the women said that they never had anybody come in and do that before. They were asking us if this was just a one-time thing and Without hesitation, Dawn and I said no. <laughs> like, we're gonna do this past our class and past even outside of Cleveland, I feel. Just because it's a really good feeling to go out and see cold people and people that don't have exactly what they need and to be able to give that to them is really fun and really, really good. Um, a lot of the women came up and they would say, you know, what are you getting out of this? Like, who gave you this money to do this, you know? like why is it like benefiting me and I would tell them you know I'm a student I obviously don't have a lot of extra money and I'm paying to go to school but I know that I have that extra 10 or 20 dollars to buy a few hats and you know they would be telling me like the shelter won't even do this stuff for us like they don't give us toothpaste they don't give us snacks like why are you doing this and I was just saying like how much I wanted to help them and I probably got a hug from every single person that I talked to in there there was like a lot of love in there. It felt good. Okay, so this is Abby. It is about eight o'clock on 
Monday, November 21st. Um, tomorrow is our event at 11 o'clock, and we were just informed that our store that me and Antonio work at threw away all of the donations that we had saved up over the past couple of weeks. It was about a cart and a half full of food, canned goods, baby food, literally anything that you guys can think of. We had it in that cart. Uh, a little discouraged, but I am heading to the Dollar Tree and to Walmart to kind of collect some more stuff. Um, both of our, our parents kind of donated some money um, so that we could replace that food because after our event on Sunday, yesterday, handing out food and going into the shelters, we just don't really feel right going in without anything to give them. So I'm going to go in and get some more stuff and we're still going to get this event to be the best that it can be. Bye. Just uh, the number of people that we would get. I wasn't sure if we were going to have a lot of people or nobody at all. Like just not having enough of something and I was worried about that. People would ditch and not join the resource. As a resource, they wouldn't be able to make it somehow. All right, so today's the day. Uh, we got, we're getting ready. Uh, I just got back from class, did a presentation. We really didn't get a chance to do a presentation, but it's okay. We're really turned. I saw a couple people on the way, um, on the way back from uh, campus uh, that I was just like, I kind of, so yeah, you got our event coming up, and they they already knew it. Uh, they knew what was happening and everything. So uh, I'm really, really excited because they're like, "Yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna we're coming and we're gonna bring people." One guy asked if it was already open, so we're like, we're really excited uh, about it. I'm really excited. I couldn't sleep last night, so I'm so excited. And I cleaned we cleaned out all of our cupboards for like ten hours last night. Yeah. Not really ten hours, like two hours, but we got like, it felt like 10. super excited. Yeah. The store that I was able to scavenge up as well. So we're doing good. Turn up. Before our event, like 15 minutes before our event, I remember right after I um, went to get uh, my stuff for my mom um, at her work. She works down in East, um, off East uh, 30th Street, so not that far from Cleveland State. Um, Abby, t I was running back to the car. <laughs> type this out for this is for the whole entire class okay just reminding them that our event is today at noon okay ryan, ryan asked us to do that so cool. i want to make sure we do that all right we got abby has informed me through mckenzie that we already have a few people down there waiting so we're leaving from here all right i talked to a couple people when i took rocky out my little puppy so we're looking good got at least four people mm -hmm. turn up so when we got there um we already had a couple people sitting in the corner, and I think a lot of it was people wanted to be warm. They were excited for like warm food, um, and the event started was supposed to start at 12, but it ended up starting at 11 um, because there was already so many people, and people were ready to grab food, grab clothes, and there was enough of us there to set it up really fast. So we got on it. I was, I was shocked. I didn't think that it would turn out as well as it did. It was uh, very eye-opening and very humbling to see like all those people there. About that, but it turned out beyond perfect. I think during the event, I got way more emotional than I thought I originally would because you just see how many people's lives you touch just doing something a little like this, just yeah. coming together with a group of people. I went to go pick up the food and so I was already like a half hour late and I made sure people were there to set up and because my resource that I had got um, messaged me and said that she was at the location and whatnot so I was already running a little late and 
I got there and the room was already full and people were asking about where, that you know we had food and it was just amazing to see the, the turnout already. It's a great idea for students to actually come together and want to be leaders and want to help out in the community effectively and bring about change in different aspects. We may be giving out something or maybe helping people find other alternatives to get ready for this winter season and to get ready for pretty much the next step in their lives. Well, me and my girlfriend were walking around uh, up and down Euclid asking folks for spare change for a bite to eat. And we ran into you guys and you guys told us about the event that you're having today mm -hmm. that would help people who are homeless or like at risk with needs. And you guys are going to have food and drinks and winter gear and we we're really excited about that. And we we're really happy to see students doing it, you know what I mean? It was so cool. So, I met the CSU and they helping me out with the winter stuff I need with food and stuff for the homeless. I'm homeless at this moment. But um, I'm glad that they invited us over for this event. You know, we got coats and sweaters helping us out to stay warm out in the cold. And have yeah. you ever attended an event? No, no, I haven't. No, it's real nice right here. I'm from Florida, so I came up here. Yeah, and I was right on time that they did this. But I didn't have nothing, and they provided for me everything I needed for the winter. Yeah. So your name is Sharon. Yes. Okay, and then how did you hear about our event today? Well, um, I ran into him outside. And he was just Antonio. Antonio. Yeah, I'm on the way back from the Star Wars. Stuff that he saw me out there trying to get some help. Mm -hmm. so that's how I found out about it. All right, and then do you go to any of the shelters downtown, or are you just? No, I'm currently. Um, I have a place, but. I have been having a hard time keeping my job because my six month old that I had, she um, got sick and I had to call off and then the, the nursing home I was working at while I was pregnant, they told me they would hire me back but I had to put in a two week notice because I wasn't working there long enough so I had to go um, put in a two week notice and I couldn't get maternity leave. Mm -hmm. So after I had the baby about a month and a half later, they um, were very nasty with me and said at this point we don't want to hire you back. And I couldn't understand why because I never had any write-ups or any problems with residents. So, Have you been to an event like this before or have you heard of any events like this before? No, never ever. Like this is like a blessing, you know, running into him, you know, him telling me about the program and running into you guys. Like it does make me feel better that this type of program is out here to help people. Because a lot of people um, ask for false help, but the people like me who really are struggling and need help, and I want to work. I don't want to just walk around and be homeless or not be able to take care of my kids and be lazy. I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. I've been going through this for two years now, having bad luck on work. I don't know why this is happening to me. Just down on your luck sometimes. And that's what we're here for and we want to help. So do you think that you know these kind of events, if we can keep them going, will make an impact on the Cleveland community? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we made this event. We know that there's this, you know, stereotype and this, you know, people think that, you know, some people are lazy or don't try and we know that it's, it's easy to get down on your luck. Yeah. And that's why we wanted to do this for you guys. It was, they were surprised that it was five, six, seven students that threw it all together. They were like, you guys are in charge of this? And we're like, yeah, we put this together. It's for you. And they were like, we can have this because we had tables set up of food and clothes. And then we had like canned non-perishable foods that they could take with them. And they were like, well, we can just have this stuff. And I was like, yeah, just take what you feel you need and leave. make sure you leave some for others. That's all we're asking. I think it was like really good for me to come and see that everybody is enjoying themselves, interacting, you know, open up to people you don't know. Yeah, uh, it's been so far so good. There's been a lot of people that have come through and gotten food or gotten some groceries or something. It's only 12.15 and, and the food's almost all gone. So I would say that is pretty successful. I think well, I like it. We were excited to hear about it. It was the talk of Norma Her this morning, trust me. It was the talk of Norma Her. Um, I got found some good information that I 
hadn't heard of before as far as housing. There's people here to help me. There's people listening to us, which we really appreciate because all homeless have a story to tell. And we appreciate being listened to. We really do. Not shunned, not walked by like we're invisible. We're people too. And we appreciate it. And thank you all that contributed. <laughs> I mean, anything that's yeah. not all much, but it's yeah, whatever but hoodies and coats people are getting. So I yes. keep telling them, you know, if I don't have something for them, that I'll find it. I'll, you know, I'll contact them, and we want to do it again. So if we can, you know, do this again yeah. soon and get them more things. I'm Joyce Robinson. I'm the volunteer coordinator at the Northeast Ohio Coalition for the Homeless. Um, I became involved with NIAC while I myself was homeless. So NIAC is, I would say, it's kind of like a referral service. We work with other um, social service providers and we have a list of social service providers that we publish on a street card. And this can be found on our website, neoch.org. On it are different resources like meal sites, um, legal services, housing, income job training, health clinics, all sorts of um, services that, but I think that having um, an event like this is a good thing because we have, um, there are different organizations who do get our street card and they know about our services, but something like this, you're getting people in the neighborhood who are not aware of the services that are offered. They're not aware of where they can go for a meal or for health care or for anything like that. So this is good. You know, and I'd like to see something like this happen a lot more often. Uh, my priority is making sure people have uh, the opportunity to apply for the SNAP program, formerly the food stamp program. Provide food for pantries in six counties across Northeast Ohio. Uh, we have uh, on the third Thursday of every month our own produce giveaway at the food bank and everyone's welcome there there are no income requirements so uh, I got invited to this event and just found out that it was six students that organized this which is wonderful because that's the future of our country um, and we are pleased to be a part of this event look forward to having being invited to more my name is Michael Perry and I am the chief development officer for the city mission so I'm in charge of fundraising there, and we're happy to be part of this event today at Cleveland State University. It's, it's good when organizations uh, in the city and students as well get involved in trying to, to meet the needs of those who are in crisis and experiencing homelessness and help them find resources in the community and, and paths forward to, uh, to self-sufficiency and stability. So we're happy to be part of that. When I started doing art, I was doing art since I was very little. And every time I hear, I hear always come, come, um, I always hear people say my art's good. Mm -hmm. And it is. <laughs> and I'm hoping one day I can either get good, to get better with my art and start hoping to be an animator for an anime or a cartoon. I hope to, that, that you guys keep it uh, keep it going. Yeah. And, uh, it's a good thing. You're doing a really great thing. Thank you. Brian wanted us to really pick a subject and find a problem and find a solution for that problem also. And I think we've come up with an actual solution that is our little baby, really your two, Abby and, and Antonio yourself, your guys' baby, but I was glad to be a part of it. And I'm, I'd like to see if we can make it even more than it is now. Um, I hope that our video and our project kind of shows people that, you know, all people that are homeless aren't, you know, these vagrants. They're not bad people. They're not, you know, it's not people that don't want to work because some of the women we encountered that live in the shelter they're, they just started jobs or they're working, so they, you know, they want to better their lives and they're not all bad people. And I just hope that we can continue to do this and that other people will see from what we did the small things that they can do to make a, you know, make a difference in somebody else's life and help them. Definitely. Um, 
I don't know, I, now, I just kind of like take more time out of my day to realize, you know, that that is like an actual issue out there and, and those people just like anyone else need love too and, and need to be told that, you know, someone cares about them. <laughs> now, I'm taking this over to uh, Norma Hurst around the corner. It's a women's shelter. And so, a couple left. fresh, you know, apples and some other pastas and canned goods. We're just going to take it around the corner. I think they'll use some of this stuff. They'll appreciate it. I definitely think I, I've changed a little bit because it's it's different to like know of, of homelessness and then to experience it and like see people going through and just the little things that people need. Like, um, the lady from the Northeastern Ohio Coalition for the Homeless interviewed me a little bit to put an article up on their website about our event and. Um, she was asking me about like like what we want to do next time and like all this stuff and she was saying that like she thinks that we have like a bigger impact than she's like ever seen at an event before because we're so young because she thinks that sometimes with you know younger people or homeless people if an older person comes at them it sounds more like a lecture Please press the button and take the parking ticket but if a younger person is you know hosting an event or coming up to you and offering you help it's more on their level and it's more like it seems more genuine to them like they can kind of get along with you more because you're young and you're you know a little bit more on their terms so mm -hmm. she thinks that we really did a great thing and i do too <laughs> i'm like really really happy and the fact that this group isn't done yet like yeah this was for a class project but all I mean eight of us are down for the one in December that we won't be getting a grade for so it never was for a grade really no I don't think we ever really did this for a grade I think everyone got like at first you know we had to submit like the justification statement and like you know find like find an idea and all that kind of stuff we were kind of in it for the grade we were like yeah we want to make this event that makes Ryan happy and all that kind of stuff but once we actually got down to the action of our idea I don't think it was about the grade anymore so and then just restate like how many people came through and people took food home oh I think like at least 50 or 60 people came through and got food and we actually had enough for some of the people to get seconds like the guy that we just took home said he was so full he didn't feel like he was gonna have to eat until later tonight like late tonight which he has food to eat tonight that's like he was so happy because he's like usually he has to you know ask for money and then go get something but he's like tonight I can just like sit in the park and relax he's like I don't have to be stressed out about going to get money and finding food like and that's like a really good feeling that we just took all that weight off of their shoulders, at least for a day or two. So, good day. I liked coordinating with all the people, the group members, the resource members that we were trying to get in. It was a little exhausting trying to get them to take your phone calls and get back to you, but we didn't get as many resources as we had hoped, but we got a handful of really good ones that I think helped a lot of people at the event. So hopefully that can branch out and word will get spread and more t more resources will join next time, hopefully. The whole, like our whole project and the whole time that we've been doing this, it's been fun. Like it hasn't been like a chore. It hasn't been like, oh, we got to get this assignment done. It's been, you know, we want to do this and we feel good about doing it. This group's just meant the world to me and I couldn't have wished for anybody else to experience this with and to take these first steps and for that I'll forever be grateful.
broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round and you can't find a fighter but i see it in you so we can walk it out Ooh, mountains we can walk it out and move 